Hello and welcome to Hawaii. My name is Becky and today we're going to be doing an abs, back and obliques workout. If you have dumbbells and a mat, please grab them now, uh, some water, start your fitness tracker and we're going to begin with a spider plank. So we're going to come down to the mat and we're starting from your hands and feet and we're going to bring your knee up to touch your elbow and then switch alternating to your other side and we're doing 20. Here we go, 20. Squeezing your obliques. strengthening lower back, abs, shoulders. Good. 20 seconds to go. Almost there. Keep holding. From here, in 10 seconds, we're going to flip it onto our back, going into crunches in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good work. All right, laying on your back. Elbows out, hands behind your neck. We're gonna squeeze your obliques and abs as we lift and then lower. Make sure to breathe. Good. Squeeze your abs and lower. Three sets of 10. Good. Beautiful day here today in Hawaii. Sunshine, squeeze. We're halfway, we have 15 more. Good job. we're going into leg raise or jackknife. So either hands under your lower back and then raise your legs and lower or more advanced, taking a dumbbell in your hands all the way down to the floor and then pressing your lower back into the mat. Make sure to breathe. We're doing two sets of 10. Whew. Feel that? I went for a run the other morning, just a 5K, but my abs are even sore from that run. So this is feeling extra special. We're also getting your lats. If you're doing the jackknife. We have five more. Four, three more. Three. Two, last one. And good. All right. Coming up to standing, we're going into deadlifts, working lower back. So if you have either a barbell or dumbbells, we're doing 10 deadlifts. All right. Making sure to keep our back nice and straight. Keeping the weight nice and close to your legs for 10. As you come to standing, you can squeeze your glutes back down. Beautiful. Good. 
feeling that pull or stretch through your hamstrings. And then we're going to set your weights down and we are going into a mountain climber next. So right here, setting your weight down. And then coming down to the mat, from your hands and toes, we have 60 mountain climbers. You ready? Here we go. standing and we are going into suitcases next. This exercise is going to work your obliques. So if you have a heavier dumbbell or kettlebell, this one's 20 pounds. So feet are a little wider than hip width apart. And then we're just going to side bend down. We're doing 10 on each side. Good. So all the way down for 10 and all the way up. Good. We have eight more here. Also use an orange band if you don't have a dumbbell that's heavier. Okay. Three. We have two more on this side. One more, and then we're going to switch sides. Good work. All right. Passing that weight over, or if you're using a band, switching your band to your other side. All right, here we go for 10. And up. Good, building a nice strong core. We have five more. Last one, and then we're going to set this weight down and we're going into a bent over row. All right, so I'm going to pick up both of these dumbbells. I want to keep my back nice and straight. Now we can do an overhand grip, or if you prefer, underhand or parallel. And then what we're going to do, keeping your back straight, row your dumbbells back and down. You can kind of pull them towards your belly button and lower, bring them up. Good, strengthening your back. We have five more. Five, just looking down at your mat. Four. Three. Two more. And then we're going to be coming down to the mat for tuck-ins. Good work. All right, you can set your weights down, please. Coming down to the mat. So hands are underneath your lower back. And we're going to bring your knees into your chest and then extend out. Two sets of 10. There's 10, we have 10 more. Tuck it in, squeeze your abs, extend. In and out. We 
have five more. Three, two, last one, and good work. All right, make sure you have a little bit of room. And what we're gonna do is take your right elbow and we're gonna meet in the middle, touching your left knee. We're going to be doing 10, so it's a cross crunch on each side. So 10 with your right elbow first, and then we'll do 10 with your left. Ready to go? All right, here we go. Make sure, to, again, to squeeze your abs. So 10, lift your shoulders up off the mat, squeeze. We have five, four, three, two, last one. Excellent, and we're switching, so left elbow with right knee for 10, nine, five more, four, three, two, and one, good. All right, please come over to your hands and feet again. We're going into a plank walkout for 20. So this is a high plank position. We're just going to step it out, in, out, in. Breathe. 10 more. 10. Keep going. Come on. to a bicycle crunch. All right, so hands behind your neck. We're gonna alternate for 50. Crunch, crunch. Squeeze your abs, lift your shoulders up off the mat. Breathe. Thirty more. Twenty more. Keep going. You can do it. Ten, nine, eight, four, three, two, and one. Good. Rest for a moment. a drink, grab a drink at any time. We're going to come onto your side and we're going into a side lane, knee to elbow crunch. All right, so we're going to reach up to the sky and then squeeze elbow to knee and we're doing 20 on this side. Squeeze. So you're squeezing your obliques. Good. Lift your head up off the mat, squeeze. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more. Knee right to your elbow, last one, and good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is lift both your feet up off the mat, and we're just gonna raise and lower top leg, and we're doing 20 on the beach leg lift. Up, down, up. So working your obliques, mind to muscle. Both feet are up off the floor. Good, we have 10 more, please, 10. for a moment. We have 
give our V ups next for 10. So both feet are gonna come up, touch your toes, and lower. You ready? 10. those side lane crunches we're going to go into a side plank here for 30 seconds so elbow directly underneath your shoulder if you're just starting out you can go from knees and elbow lifting your hip up off the mat or more advanced elbows and feet and hips are up all right 30 seconds and hold Feeling those obliques? Me too. Inhale and exhale. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six. You're almost there. Three, two, and one. Good. All right, coming down to the mat. Now we're gonna start on this side with our knee to elbow crunch. We have 20. You ready to begin? Here we go. Squeeze. Good. There's ten. We have ten more. beach leg lift so get comfy we're gonna lift both feet up off the mat top leg is going to raise and lower and we're doing 20 are you ready okay here we go 20 very humid very warm today beautiful Keep that bottom leg up for 10, 9, keep going, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. How'd you do with those on the beach leg lift? Were you able to keep your leg up the whole time? All right, V ups are next, so get comfy again. And this time we're going to bring both feet up and touch your toes. All right, we ready? All right, here we go. 10. Squeeze your obliques. Squeeze. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And good. Please flip it over onto your side. And we're going to go into that side plank. So making sure your elbow is directly underneath your shoulder. And again, you can go from your knees or your toes, keeping your hips up the entire time. So 30 seconds. Make sure to stretch. We'll see you back here next time from beautiful Hawaii. Have a great day.